Seraphim grant blessings and good fortune, right? What kind of good fortune would you guys bring? Hmm, mine would probably be something like academic achievement. Let me guess, Lila would be family safety and security? <laughs> Quite possibly. Mine would probably be lucky in love, by which I mean a pretty lady'd fall in love and I'd get lucky. I suppose I'd be perfect health. You? Really? That'd be odd. Not really. I've been hit by lightning on multiple occasions. Tumbled off the peak of Rayfalk, gotten caught in an enormous landslide. Stubbed my pinky toe on the edge of the dresser, gotten a tiny fishbone stuck in my throat. And yet, here I am, safe and sound. Holy crap! Well, okay, some of that was just regular crap, but still, whoa! You really are lucky, Edna. To a bizarre extent, even. But it's how I survived being near my brother, even after he had turned into a dragon. <sighs> Though I'm not sure it was entirely blind luck. Welcome back, everybody! Are you finally ready to head straight to Camlon, the Origin Village? Well, personally, I am. Let's finally move on. Let's see what awaits us. What trials are here? So this is Camlon. My first time here, yet I already know the place. Feels bizarre. It's like time has stopped ticking here. You might be more right than you realize, considering how much power Mautelis wields. So, this is where he died. Lila, are you okay? Thank you, Saray. I'm just fine. We got a ways to the shrine still. Keep your chins up. Quite. I'll try to keep that in mind, I suppose, anyway. By the way, I got a few more Normans. I had a, had a helpful comment left to me. Tell me, oh, there's there's Normans there, 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 and there. And there's, there's actually one in Camelon, if you can believe that. So we'll, we're going to get that eventually anyway. I, Well, actually, yeah, wait. Hmm, it counts as a dungeon. Go figure. I think it would, if anything, it would have counted as a town maybe because, you know, it's the origin village. It's like a town. The forgotten village. Yeah, anyway. Well, that's that, so I didn't mean to save. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Pity for you Simone. Know, I can't help but feel sorry for Simone. She must have been having a hard time coping with her burdens. To the point that she couldn't find meaning in her life until she started working for Heldolf. And with such tremendous powers, too. That's a real shame she couldn't believe in herself. She could have killed us with those powers of hers. I wonder if Heldolf ordered her not to. But more than that, I'm wondering if she could have killed us. Her powers went beyond the typical domain of seraphic arts. They felt more special. Oh, you mean like from an oath? An oath she took not to kill anybody. Humans, Seraphim, Hellions, whatever she's up against, she can do anything and everything but kill them. Feels like it means something, and at the same time, it doesn't. But at the end, it felt like she was genuinely going all out on us. That's how much she wanted to kill us. Even if it meant breaking her oath, losing her powers, and defying her feline overseer. Yes. If she hadn't been hampered by the concentration of malevolence in this area, we were very lucky. She hated me that much. Yeah, whoa, geez. Well, you know, you are the shepherd, Sore, so, I mean, people are going to hate something that's so strong like the shepherd. Oh my gosh, it's shepherd, shepherd. How can the shepherd not be something you want to destroy? Huh? Huh? I mean, I mean, you're evil. I would want to destroy it. Wouldn't you want to destroy it, everyone? Come on now, don't be crazy now. I know you would all want to destroy it, so, you know. Good job! Good job on wanting to be so evil in the end here. I mean, gosh dang, why would anyone... Why would anyone want Sora to be to do a good thing here, right? I don't have a clue. Oh, there, a random thing. What is that? Why is there a random teleporter? I wonder, one. Is that a sign? Is that a sign of things to come? Perhaps that I can run away before this monster catches me? No, that's, that's not true. That really is not true, unfortunately. It kind of sucks. I'm like, ah, man. I didn't really want to do that. So anyway, though, the Norman situation. We actually have, well, we're putting that comment that was left, and I'm assuming that was all the Normans. Maybe it wasn't. I have no idea, but... According to the comment that was left, though, it looks like we only have about three Normans left. One's in Camlon, one's somewhere else, and then a third one's, uh, special. Oh, gosh. Holy cow. What the... Are... Well, good job, sorry. Are we getting sucked into the black hole? 
might not be a good thing here. Oh, so it just leads back there, does it? Well, I'm gonna use it just to be sure it activates. I'm assuming it's gonna activate either way, but you never know. What maybe? Maybe I don't actually do it. Maybe it won't activate. But you know, just on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, dang! I don't have a bat behind me again, and I don't want that. Why would anyone want a bat behind them? Come on now. So this doesn't look like what was described to me as one of the Norman locations. Though I think I see something up ahead that might be described as exactly what was shown here. Point of interest detection. This thing. Camlon's Founding Monument! Too bad it's not a monolith. Oh well. The monument in Camlon. Oh gosh. Okay, well, fine! I, I didn't want to show a discovery right now anyway. You, you know, you're just gonna have to die for that here. Oh jeez, you're terrible, you stupid goblin whatchamacallit. Show a discovery and just like, nope! I'm gonna go ahead and do my own thing. I'd rather do that anyway. It's, uh, it's more fun doing that, being annoying like that. Alright, prepare yourself. You are going to die, all of you. Oh jeez, I can't believe it. Oh, by the way, happy episode 80, everyone. For the first time ever, we have reached 80 episodes on some series. Looks like we win. What will be the next series where we reach 80 episodes on? Hmm? 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 hmm. From Logren. That's that's great. Congratulations. The monument in Camlon. This stone monument looks pretty new. It says something here. Let this be the beginning. <gasps> A monument commemorating the establishment of Camlon? The beginning of what, I wonder? Michael had just quit being a shepherd. The beginning of a normal life with his family, I suspect. And also, maybe, the first step toward a world without malevolence. So Camlon's name, the Origin Village, it probably didn't initially mean the origin of the Age of Chaos. He meant it to instill hope. Michael. There's still a chance, Lila. We can make Camlon the origin of hope again. By bringing a close to the Age of Chaos. Indeed. Well, good luck with that anyway. So, oh yeah, that's actually something I should probably show. I did have a support talent max out off screen while I was looking for Norman. And it was, as you might guess, well, one of the Norman for the wins anyway. And it was Edna's, and she still got two more points to go anyway. So I switched her on the money finding finally at long last since the first time since the beginning of the game. So I might actually hear her go off and be like, oh my gosh, I found some money. I can't believe it. What are you doing, man? So... Okay, I see. But anyway, I do know exactly where this Norman should- The is getting stronger and stronger. Are you guys doing alright? You don't have to worry about us. We're fine. Oh. Okay then. Yeah. Just worry about yourself. Uh, pri uh Prime Evil Crown. The crown forged with a metal no longer obtainable and viewed with defensive qualities. That sounds like my kind of crown right there. Let's go ahead and equip that then, shall we? Mikmule, what you got here? Is it good for you? Ooh. <laughs> now that actually looks pretty dang good here. Let's see, water attack power, slowing capability. Oh, but that's not an amount of damage reduced. Maximum BG and HP recovery. When, hmm. I don't know, everyone. I don't know. Should I just go straight up with that or should... Hmm. I don't know. I don't... Let's see, 74 and 73. 170, 147 and 63. Hmm. Well, it's straight at the fence, so I don't know. I don't see anything bad with that. I guess I'll go with it. Heck with it. Let's see. Buy. You got anything cool? The Spear of Impending Death. Why are you selling those? You're selling three of them. I'm a little bit confused, everyone. Is it possible for Alicia to join us for the final battle here? Is that, is that what they're trying to say here? Well, then, either way. Ooh, fusion. I like fusion here. Well, I guess let's, do, let's do a little bit of fusion anyway. Nothing there. Well, there's one thing to say. Ooh, you got one of those? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot to do that. I had a chance to do that off screen. I didn't really think about it. Oh well. You get to see me do it instead. Even better, right? I know I know you always wanted to see me do some fusions on screen, so... You know, now you get to see it. You get to see it for yourselves, everyone. You, congratulations! Ooh, plus ten, finally. Here we go, there we go. That's done. And those Topaz boots are almost plus ten. They're gonna be plus eight now. Spike shoes... Congratulations, and that's it. Well, turtles, you're you're good and all. Actually, wait, you know, hey, I fought you. What are you doing here anyway? You traitor! You think you were doing just like I'm just gonna pretend like I never actually fought you guys. Where are you? Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Hello. What is that? 
Oh? Okay. So we had Zavid go off, so there's a point of interest nearby too. Got an equipment with open skills that can make it nice and pretty. Let's see, all damage taken reduced by 30. Now that's what we're talking about here. Let's give it to... Hmm. I guess let's give it to Niklia, why not? The Preventi added to Genius' staff. This'll fix you good if you need more, just summon me the Lord of the Land! Well, that's... oh. Burnt remains of Shepherd Michael's home. It looks just like everyone else's house, so how the heck do we even know it's Shepherd Michael's house? Hmm. Go figure, I guess. Michael's house. Oh, hey. We saw this before, in the Earth and Historia. Michael's house. And Muse lived here too, right? Yeah. I guess that means I was here myself, as a human baby. So that makes Camelon your hometown, huh? It's yours as well, isn't it? I suppose. But I don't feel anything toward it. It's just one of those historical technicalities. I can't think of my hometown as anywhere but Alicia. Yeah, same. You and me. Alicians now and forever. Now and forever. <laughs> Indeed! I mean, heck. I, I wasn't... I wasn't born in Arizona, but yet I still kind of think of it. Oh, jeez. I still kind of think of Arizona as my hometown, though, so I don't know. Make your way to Artorias' throne. Alright, well, what the heck is that ahead of me, anyway? Should I, should I be concerned? Should I try and just go fight it randomly? Heck, I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go fight it randomly. Let's just see what you're, what you're made of, good sir. You don't look. I mean, you look like a mutant hellion, but we've already fought all the mutant hellions, so, okay. Fine! Fine! I, I, I get it, game. You just don't want me to you want me to fight this thing with the first strike. You're just gonna be like, hey, I'll send this random monster at you instead. I guess I'll go ahead and charge up a few DGs while I'm at it, you know? No harm in doing that, right? I suppose so, anyway. Wait, no, I need a. Whoopsie. I need to do a double step. What? That wasn't a double step. I don't really count as a double step, anyway. Here, might as well charge up a couple. Ooh! I'll charge up a couple of them because that's probably gonna be some kind of optional boss monster. And if I can do that, then you know what? I don't have to worry about it. I can just unleash an early Mystic Art and be like, Oh, oh my gosh, what do you, what do, you do about that? Early Mystic Art's for the win, man. Oh, Mikleo, you suck! Now I have to... Now, uh, all those VG, man. You were charging them all up, and now you are now you just used them all. Well, I guess let's go ahead and just worry about that later then, huh? Well then! Armatization! I take you along and... That's, that's, that's the thanks I get. Thank you, Mikleo. Alrighty, then. Well, that's kind of... My gosh, those weapons, though. Alright, quick save. And gonna punch you in the face. A heck... A hecaton... Wait. A hecaton cherry. Alright. Therian and armored and weak to physical. Gotcha. Nothing? Nothing. Water one, they have nothing to say about that, apparently. Uh, oh, really? Okay, I was trying to keep the combo going here, but... Also, it would've been nice if we had a physical combo going before Rose actually did that, but... Nah, that's cool. That's cool. So, let's see. You are Therian and Armored, and I'm pretty sure I have an Armored attack. Do I have Therian? I do. I, it's my right. Left and right. And Therian... No, wait. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Armored, which is neutral. Gotcha. Okay, I got this now. Oh, jeez, Vengeance Fang, that's not a big deal then. I was a little bit worried just because it was such a big circle. I was like, oh no, don't do not do that, man. What the heck am I going to do about that? Ugh! Take that! And you are going to be... Fine. I kind of expected that to do more damage with a 2.4 times power hit, but... Okay, fine, whatever. Don't don't mind me on... Oh, jeez. Why did it do so much anyway? So We only have two weaknesses on it. I don't know. I honestly don't know, everyone. It's a little bit confusing to me. I mean, it's not like... Unless one of the attacks were physical, and I just wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, maybe one of the wind attacks are physical. That would actually make a little bit of sense. Or would it? Maybe it doesn't make as much sense as I like to think it does, but... Heck with it. I don't care. It makes sense. There you go. Take that. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, Rose, you gotta keep the attack on. We're going. Keep on the offensive here. You can do it. I believe in you. And, oh, why am I trying to do another Mystic Guard? I'm, I'm kind of dumb right now. Uh, uh, uh. No point doing what I'm doing here. Seriously, what is this thing? What is this thing even going to drop? It's not, even, it's not a Mutant Hellion. It looks like one, though. 
unless the Hellions don't always drop anomalous orbs, which wouldn't make really any sense to me, honestly. Okay, whatever. Take that! Ha <laughs> ha! And he is. I don't know how much health he has. Oh, he still has 12,000 left. Oh, whatever. Fine. You want, you want to have a lot of health. Is this a color palette swap of something we fought earlier? Honestly, this feels very familiar to me. Like, like this was the the shepherd guy from from the water trial or something. Like, oh my gosh, we, we, we fought this guy before. It's the same guy as before. Oh my gosh, what, what is what's happening here? Is this the same guy, everyone? You tell me. Honestly, it does feel familiar, but I don't know if it's the same because it was kind of a while ago. I don't remember him looking this purple either. But then again, like I said, it is a color palette swap if it is the same guy, so that would make some sense, I suppose, anyway. Come on, keep the attack going! Oh, wow, that should have counted, in my opinion, anyway. And now Rose is dead. Well, that's that, I suppose. Sorry, sorry, Rose. You know, you, I kind of let you down right there. Tried to keep you alive as well as I could have. I couldn't do it! I'm a, a big disappointment right there. On instinct way too much. Oh. Ah! Imbued orb! Oh crud, there was a dagger too. Well, whatever. AP increased by one, that wasn't really that important, but you know we got AP plus one, so heck. I don't know. That's, that's probably the most important thing that we could have gotten out of that, right? There's a teleporter. We got the Norman here. Looks like there's nothing else. Oh gosh dang it. Looks like there's nothing else for us to really go after here. Except for these things, which are kind of even forced to go after now. Thank you, random werewolves or whatever you're called. I forgot what you're called. Yeah, you're just called a wolf berserker. Like I said, you are a werewolf. But... I don't care. You are what you are, and I have claimed you as such. Nothing else can tell me otherwise. Or can it? Maybe it can tell me otherwise. So let's see. Turtles, you are... Hmm... Well, that way does go somewhere, so I guess I'll just go ahead and go that way. What is over here? Ooh, there's, a, there's an enemy. I don't want that enemy. There's another, another mutant hellion? Huh. And he's on a horse. Oh, wait a second. No, this is... I, I see what they're doing here. This is the... Well, what's it called? The Dullahan from the Wind Trial, I think? Except... I don't know. Odin! I can't believe it. And again, you're not going to say anything. Why would you say anything? Are you just you're just being stubborn now? I see. Fine, whatever. Let's see how it is. I'll just go ahead and hit you a little bit, and then we'll just go ahead and armatize, cause I can. And I didn't keep the combo going. Well, you know that's fine too, I suppose. Anyway, we'll see you. How much defense do these things have anyway? I should probably look at that. Name's Odin's lance. Gungnir refers to how he goes all gung ho with it when he's near you. That's cool. Makes sense, you know, okay, anyway, and, you know, I'm not even looking, that's not, wait, what am I looking at? I'm going for, oh, page one. I was like, what am I looking at exactly? Yeah, his attack power has nothing on the other monsters we were fighting before. Oops. You don't want to pierce the skies, everyone. Back with it. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I want to pierce the skies, dang it. Let me do it. You know what? I have an idea here. I'm going to charge, charge, and just try to spam stun moves here, because that might be a good idea, perhaps. I'll stun you if it's the last thing I do. I'm probably not gonna stun him, am I? They made it too difficult. You can't stun him. It's just like ah, you gotta, you gotta try really hard. You gotta try really hard. Yeah, actually, this is the combo that gets me armor too. So, nope, no point not continuously trying the same combo over and over and over again, right? Gotta try the combination of victory, of course. I don't. Wait a second. Hold on. A moment. Do I? No, 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 no. Yeah, they are all water. I don't know why I was thinking, like, maybe one of these are not going to be water or something like that. But this wind? Wind has... Yeah, it has other things. That's kind of convenient for wind's sake, anyway. It actually does more than just wind. Like, it even has fire and earth attacks. Like, come on, why are you so good? Why do you have so many things that are, that are helpful to you? I don't know. I guess, I guess it's just a magical wizard, indeed. So, I, I guess that means Rose going into our Mattis form is not the worst thing in the world, because she can still activate the physical weakness, which is nice, but the problem is, though, you know, they just died, so, okay, whatever. Fine, whatever, do, do what you gotta do. I'll just keep dodging and hopefully activate a... I'll activate a... a it a Mystic Guard. You want Mystic Guard, man? I demand it! Is he stunned? I can't tell. Honestly, it's too zoomed in. Camera! Even to the bitter end, you still try to... Messes me here. It's like, geez. Oh, oh, no, 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 I can't do it. I can't, no, no. I really can't do it right now. That's oh, unfortunate. All right, whatever. Defend myself. Get, get some more BGs. Slide along. Get some more BGs. 
Slide along, get some more VGs. I don't really need to, but you know, I don't care. There we go. Come on, get stunned. Get stunned, man. I'm asking for it. I'm asking so much for it. You won't even give me such a simple thing. Keep the attack going, keep the attack going. Get stunned, get stunned, get Come on. I'm not gonna get a stun AI. Whatever, don't care. I'm gonna freaking use it. It's now or never! Time to use the limit of the aqua. I gotta say, the, the, the limit of the aqua is pretty weak, I gotta say. But it is what it is, it happens, and Rose is dead. Rose, Rose, Rose. Rose, 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 Rose. You don't learn your lesson. You keep dying for no reason, but then you just. Ah. Well. You know, at least you have harmonization available to you, but you know, you can't just expect the V to bail you out just that, that easily now. I mean, he's got to work for that, you know? He doesn't even have enough BG to revive you right now, man. Okay, fine, fine. I get a feeling, I get a bad feeling about this here. That maybe Rose is going to miss out on some experience points. Just maybe. I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but I'm worried. How can you not be worried? Oh, geez. Especially when I'm not stunning this guy. Maybe, maybe she will have time. Zavid, 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 you must survive. I don't want you losing out on experience points. Or do I? Oh, gosh, please. Okay, thank you. So, so plenty of time. Oh! And Rose actually has 800. All right. No, no, no. Oh, I did not mean to. I really did not mean to do that, actually. Ah, oh, geez. Rose, you'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, Rose. Rose, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm going to die next. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, please switch Seraphim. Thank you. Thank you. Gosh, dang it. I was so close to. Wait, 2,500. He's actually getting his health back. Okay, then. I don't know why I just did that. I probably... That's risky. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk Miklio dying for no reason. Great idea, me! Ah! Please, now! Give me a physical attack, and you are dead. Rose, I didn't actually see you survive. Actually, no, I did. No, I'm, what am I talking about? Imbued orb! What is all these imbued orbs all of a sudden? A languid sword in title proficiency increased. Why? No, 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 no! Let's do this. I'm not very satisfied about this, because I can't armatize right now! I got to survive. Let's survive! Hey, you! What's up, man? You wanna armatize? I'm... Oh, wait, yeah, sure. Even if I die, it wouldn't matter. Because Mikuli was fine. Actually, no. Because I have to use his BG, he wouldn't have enough BG to. So never mind, I would've been completely doomed, so I'm kinda glad that I... Armatized within time here. Actually, I would've lost a grade, too. Everyone, you don't wanna lose grade, please! Spare yourselves the indecency of losing grade. And then, then we'll be- oh, jeez. Do you know? We need to actually check those two things that we got here. There was one weapon for me, and there was one weapon for... I want to say Rose? Yeah, Ragged Dead. What? What? The sword of unify all ritual swords. However, its base parameters will never improve. What? Uh, uh, okay then? So, can I just ask what the point of this is then? If it doesn't improve, then no dagger capable of being fused with any other dagger. However, its base power will never improve. Two times damage. Well, I don't think I understand the point. So apparently, so it can fuse with anything, but its base stats suck. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't think I like that, to be honest. I think I'd rather have something that actually be useful and whatnot. So I'm just thinking, should I go back to... No, let's not go back to the save point right now. Let's, let's instead do a quick save. I haven't quick saved in a while after all. No, 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 freaking... That's... I hate werewolves sometimes. It's like, I'm gonna just get in your way just because I feel like it, dang it. Well, whatever. As soon as I armatize, you'll be regretting things, you wolves, you. Let's do it right now, in fact. I just want to get a little bit of extra. Is it wrong to get a little bit of extra in, everyone? I hope not. Because even I'm sure even you would want to get a little extra in after all. Jeez, now. Take that! And you, you were- 1337! The magic number has been, has been discovered. What are we gonna do about that? We're gonna win, of you're course. You're so hard, Lila. But who's it for? If you're asking if it's for you, then yes. Partially. I'm just going to keep avoiding you, because- <laughs> Sabine, my goodness. AP- wait, what? Why did I get AP plus one randomly? Kaiser Road. Everyone, where did I get AP plus one? Can you can you explain that? What did I do? What exactly did I fulfill? What requirements did I get? Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I think it might be nice. Anyway, let's see. Well, compared to my current boots, it lowers my defense by a ton. I don't think I really want that, do I? Now, 
Actually, there was something I was thinking about here. There was like, why did I not put that on or something like that? Was it for Rose, Edna, and... I think it might have been for Rose, come to think of it. Focus and Art Attack. Yeah, that might have been the one. Pegasus Wings? Was that it? Number of combos in normal states. Eh. So yeah, that lowers my Art Attack, but lowers my Focus. But again, it's a computer, though. I don't really care about what the computer does. And 289 is nothing to sneeze at for Focus level, I don't think, anyway. So... I actually will reconsider that. I will put the Pegasus wings on. Maybe some of you were thinking, why don't you put it on, man? This, is, this seems like it's pretty good, actually. And, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I really don't. Because, I mean, just look at that. She has 600 plus art attack. Why? She doesn't need that much, everyone. She doesn't even need it. She hardly needs any, anyway. So what did I just get here? I got Kaiser Road. That's blab. But what about for Mikleo? So let's see. Defense and art defense. And for ZV, to defense and art... Okay, fine. You know what? No, no, no. We don't need that. It's kind of pointless, actually. Gold chest. Oh, my gosh. Can you, can you imagine if I didn't get that... That... Corundum lore? Huh. Can you imagine if I never got that... Oh, gosh dang it. I'm going to have to fight that. Because that thing is always faster than me. But can you imagine if I didn't get that gold key? Could you imagine, everyone? Amorphous dragons and art attack. Hmm. Well, ZV, I suppose... Well, I suppose that wouldn't be bad for you anyway. But then again, I lose the iron stances. I want my iron stances, everyone! It's so good! I guess I might as well do it. I mean, I guess we're probably going to fight a dragon or something, what aren't we? I, I get a feeling. I just have an odd feeling that we're going to fight dragons for no reason here, aren't we? Well, that's fine. If we fight dragons, then that's going to be cool. I like dragons. I like fighting them, too. I still think that maybe we're probably going to fight Simone again. I don't, I don't think we're done with her. Probably going to end up going crazy, come back at us, and probably turn into a dragon. I don't know, just a hunch. Is it right? Or is it wrong? I don't know. Don't tell me, because I might not be at that point yet. I'm just saying here. So let's see. I want to actually look at my discoveries, because we did get two more now. So Camelon's founding monument, burnt remains of Shepherd Michael's home, and two more discoveries left. That are listed right now, anyway. Is there going to be more past that? I don't remember. I don't remember what the exact number of discoveries is, but I know we're getting very, very close, nonetheless, here. A, mo a monolith! Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's aroma. It's a, a red verbena! And Whoa. then you. Whoa! It appears to be wisdom. <laughs> Difficulty settings. Difficulty, intense and chaos. Levels that we do not have yet. Survive enough battles at higher difficulties to unlock these punishing settings. With more frequent attacks and shorter casting times. Among other buffs, enemies will really be out for your blood this time. You'll also have to wait much longer between item uses. Friends may weep openly or faint. Well, more than likely, I would faint, so... You know, I'm just saying now. Well, anyway, though, now that that's been done, I suppose let's take our take our leave here towards wherever this place is. Is it going to be fantastic? I hope so. This place is called... Oh, we're just going to go there straight up. Artorius's Throne! Oh, no! <laughs> I was not expecting this, actually. I'm a little bit concerned now. Where exactly am I supposed to go from here? Seriously, what is with the black hole in the sky? Also, the music, everyone. It seems like this might perhaps be final dungeon music. Perhaps, 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 perhaps indeed. I don't know. And the lightning striking the sky. Well, it's not striking the sky. It's stri is that a tornado? I mean, geez, it just disappeared. Oh, there's another one! Hello, Tornado! And then you disappeared, too. Congratulations, Tornadoes! You're doing pretty well. Let's go to the entrance to Camelon. Let's get out of here. And we're gonna, we're gonna go back. Entrance to... At, I don't... Who is this person, anyway? I don't know who... I don't know who Artorius is. Maybe they explained that to me at some point. I just don't remember. Well, either way. The Malevolence in Camelon. The amount of Malevolence here is just crazy. If Sir A wasn't here, we'd all be dragons by now. Is Maltellus emitting it? Or is it flowing into Maltellus? In either case, the malevolence here is definitely what turned Maltellus into a Hellion. The heart of the malevolence seems to be in the back of the village, and there we should find... Heldolf and Maltellus. Let's go! The Hellions in this region are incredibly strong. You must be careful. I will. You guys do the same. We got this! Never underestimate the Shepherd's Posse! What if I did want to, though? I want to underestimate it like a blank page. So I found this sketchy looking equipment. Sketchy? You'd have to not know left from right as a merchant if you really think so. 
You're lecturing me about the ways of a merchant? It's true that its name, appearance, and capabilities are all kind of wonky. But you can fuse it with the same types of equipment. But that's expensive, isn't it? You might think so. But the cost of fusion will be offered at its lowest price ever. Soon this wonky piece of equipment will be a household item. So it is actually wonky? Plus, get this. If you fuse it ten times and then hand it over to the Lord of the Land, guess what happens? The Lord of the Land will provide you, and only you, with a free blessing. Isn't that the same as with any other equipment? I suppose so, anyway. Well, I don't know. Should we start doing this right now, or should I head back to an inn just to see if there's a random inn skit? You know what? Heck with it. Actually, wait. I want to see real quick. We did get a whatchamacallit. We got some... Uh, we got the imbued orbs. Apparently, this orb will evolve into a blessing orb given enough centuries boost everyone's max HP. Oh. We only got two of those? Huh. So I'm assuming there's going to be more then, because those two bosses, I'm pretty sure, were reskins re of the bosses we fought at the trials anyway, so maybe there's going to be two more then? I don't really know, actually. Will there or will there not be? You tell me! But I do actually want to go back to an inn real quick. I know I'm, I'm going to just be, I'm delaying the inevitable here. I mean, well, what, are we going to actually win this today or not? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, everyone, but nonetheless, I do want to see if there is an inn skit. So let's see. In skits, do you exist? No, you don't. Well, whatever. It happens, everyone. It does happen. So I guess I'm gonna go back now, and this is what we're gonna see exactly what awaits us here at the at the throne room. The throne room. What awaits us here? Are you gonna be kind of crazy? I hope so. Anyway, let's see. Actually, wait a second. I want to try something real quick. I feel like this is gonna be an achievement here, so I'm gonna quick save. I'm going to go to not boons. What is it? Offer items, and I'm going to offer literally every item I have. Just max out the Lord of the Land here. Let's just see what happens. I don't know if I actually will, it will max it out or not, but we'll see. We'll see, everyone. Look at all that grade we're giving. We're giving so much grade to the Lord of the Land here. It's going to be absolutely fantastic here. Are we going to break the game? Perhaps so. Of course, once I do this, and if we see if we get an achievement or not, obviously, you know what's going to happen, everyone. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to reload the quick save. And then what I'm going to do? I don't know. How much grade will they let me deposit? How much grade? I don't have a clue. It's way too much grade. How many levels does this thing have? Is it possible to go over? I guess it might be possible anyway. Oh my gosh, everyone. All the weapons I'm going to have to donate here. I hope you're satisfied with yourselves because it's going to be a long time. It's going to be a long time before we get to the end of this list anyway. Maybe not. Maybe so. Is it possible? I don't know. 1,750. We're almost at 1,800. We're getting very close to 2,000. Good lord. Yeah, I don't know, everyone. This is a lot more than I was actually expecting. I was like, okay, we won't have to donate that many items or something like that. I'm sure the maximum level is probably like 10 or something. I don't even know. What is the maximum level? Like 50? What if the maximum level is 50 and we can just get that many points? Hmm. I do wonder about that, actually. But, oh, well. We'll have to see once we get to the end of this list, of course, which is going to take a while. Taking a while, taking a while. Honestly, everyone, if you didn't, if you couldn't already tell, this is probably going to be the last thing I do in this episode here. I'm just, I'm just kind of wasting some time for the moment here, just seeing just how high this goes. Will we get an achievement for this? I hope so. Honestly, we don't get an achievement for all of this. I'm going to be very, very disappointed here. Well, that's literally everything, so let's see what happens. Offer this item, grade 2,456. Uh, are, are you serious? There is another level. I didn't get everything. Level 12? Are you, oh, no. No, everyone. No, this is terrible here. Well, boons. What do we got for boons here? Oh, my gosh. You have got to be kidding me. We're never going to get all this. We're never going to get it. I, I, hmm. Well, then, anyway. What do we get here? Miracle of Life. Okay. Drop rate boost. Enemy item drop rate increases by 50%. Actually, wait. Once each battle... We already knew that, actually. For example, a drop rate of 6% will increase to 9%. The gold cost of moving between save points is halved. That's nice, I suppose, anyway. Prolonged... Uh, Satiety? Uh, the cooking effect will sometimes not wear off even after battle. Huh, that's nice. Service of the Norman. Gain one Norman serving the Lord of the Land. When you put a Norman in place, it will be easier to acquire equipment for skills related to that Norman. Gain one Norman serving the Lord of... What? Treasure Rarifier. If you use this together with the Treasure Restoration Boon... When a restored chest contains equipment, the likelihood of rare equipment will go up. When you enter a battle when a, with a snacking effect activate, you may be able to reacquire that same snack after 
the battle. Huh. I don't really understand that, to be honest. Nimble feet, resistant body, tribute from the defeated, drop rate boost. Drop rate boost? Another one? Huh. And protection from the strong. So service of the Norman, what does that mean? Does that mean I can set multiple Normans? Oh. So. Oh. Oh. I see. So I could set this and that, and I could up the enemy level by 20. That's kind of that's kind of crazy, actually. Well, anyway, though, that's unfortunate. We didn't get a whatchamacallit from that. Well, let's see. There's really no point in doing this, especially if we end up getting it in Cat's Corner later, but... Uh, is there going to be a skit for this? No. It's like, wow, we got that Lord of the Land thing up really high. What? Uh, how much higher is it going to go? It's going to go up to level 55,000, of course. Jeez. Well, anyway, I guess that's not going to happen. Or will it? Maybe it will happen. I'm going to load the quick save. And I'm going to end today's episode, everyone. So I'll see you later. Next episode, we go ahead and explore the throne room of someone that we don't really know about too well. And we do know him very well. I don't know. But I'll see you later, everyone. Goodbye.